But uh, the politics we save for the end. <laughs> Ladies and gents, welcome to the first ever live State of the Squadron, where I talk about things happening in and inside Star Citizen and this beautiful organization, Test Squadron, which is the org I run, which is an org in this game called Star Citizen. Um, there was some very astute... Is astute the word? I would say maybe stupid. <laughs> Chatter the other day goes, I never realized that you actually had uh, an organization, a guild, in Star Citizen. He just thought that I am just this amazing streamer who has apparently 120 subs, <laughs> which is amazing considering it's, uh, what, almost two weeks of streaming? Thank you very much for everyone tossing me your Bezos bucks. Much appreciated. Uh, but for those who don't know and those who, I guess, have not stumbled onto me from the Star Citizen side is uh, I started a small org called Test Squadron many, many years ago. And uh, it grew and evolved and became what is essentially the largest org in Star Citizen uh, with 22,200 and something members. And uh, there we are. I am continuously grateful and honored to have this position of uh, the largest org in what will be the biggest game in the world. Well, the the big the game of the cent the game of the century. Absolutely yes. Squadron Forty Two coming out is going to be a milestone, and the PU. You know, I don't think we have been as positive as we've been. Maybe this is a good place to start in. Actually, no. The, where I start usually is I thank the new members. Let me thank the new members for arriving. Then we'll go on and have a, a teary, soppy. Uh, a pat on the back about how awesome we are for actually following and sticking with this game through the years because it's actually coming out now and making each other feel good for spending the money we have because, hey, guys, no, we're not stupid. The We actually did the right thing, <laughs> right? That's what we do. <laughs> so we'll do that. But uh, let me begin by welcoming all the new people who have joined Test Squadron over the past couple of Weeks or months, and uh, you know we've had a, a pretty sizable influx of new members ever since I started streaming. Uh, so I appreciate you guys who have stumbled on the stream and then joined the org as a result. I know many of you belong to other organizations, and by all means, feel free to give them a shout out in chat if you want to. Uh, while I obviously represent my org, I know a lot of you are members of other wonderful and very um, what's the word I'm looking for? Colorful organizations. <laughs> There are some great orgs out there you guys blog time aware, so feel free to give them a shout out in chat. I don't mind at all. So jumping into our member list and completely random, let's pick out some interesting members. Flight Knight, welcome. Uh, Captain Thorn for subscribe with Bezos Bucks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Why well, have I got two alerts showing up? Go away that one. You can tell I'm a I'm a terrible streamer, still figuring it out. Apparently there's things to do and push to make things work. I'm learning it. So anyway, we have new members coming in. I want to welcome those of you who have joined recently. I appreciate you dropping into Test Squadron, which is the best squared on. Jonas Infinity, Lester 121, DRFT, who came in as a stinking affiliate. Uh, we'll talk about main members and affiliates in a member in a, in a second. Uh, Black Faith, Cratch, Tay, JR00, oh, all filthy affiliates. Zadi, Solita, Parad. Dice, O1, Darvik, Stay Dog, Mr. Darkness, Angry Celt, Secondhand Mustache, Gandalf, and the list goes on and on. I can't welcome everyone, but thank you very much for dropping in and uh, making Test your home. I hope we meet your expectations, which is, uh, we, we will never meet your expectations. Prepare for disappointment, all right? I don't know what you think you're going to get by joining Test, but you're not getting it. So suck it up, Nancy. Uh, oh, you know, let's do this. <laughs> uh, I do grab screenshots every now and then from uh, people that do join just to read what they say. So let's do some of these and then we'll go talk about uh, affiliate members, main members, and any topics you guys want to bring up. Uh, so here we have a wonderful message by Azuros who says, uh, I used to be in this org, best time ever. I stopped the game a long time ago and came back little by little, and now I'm here to stay. I would love to come back. And uh, that was his application. Uh, actually, this is a great one. Uh, I think this is 
pretty representative of what we're seeing right now in the community. Um, a lot of people kind of tuned out or just backed out and just lost interest over the years with the pyro and server meshing and uh, all the, what's the analogy Seth gave us with the servers are basically balls in a sack and then the sack is the blade. <laughs> it was explained in very graphic terms, essentially. But uh, the game is actually becoming more of a game that people were expecting. And uh, Azurus over here is pretty representative of what we've seen a lot lately of people coming back into the fold. Saying, I've taken a year, two, three, four years off and I'm coming back now to check it out. There are still members I know, like Frisbee Rocker, if you're out there somewhere and maybe me saying his name will make him show up, who has not been around since 2017, I'd like to say, uh, who have basically said, I will come back when this game is out, which is... If you are here right now, that sounds insane. But for a normal person, this is a normal reaction. A lot of people are not sitting around to play a game that is in development. They want the finished game. Um, there are hundreds, if not thousands of people like that. Tech, what's up? Welcome. How's the volume, by the way? I know yesterday there were some mic problems. So... I expect to see a lot more of this. I expect to see a lot of people in, in the problem, I guess not a problem, the issue we're going to face in test, and that's something I'll discuss a bit later, is when we start seeing this big influx come in, how do we handle it? What do we need to do to prepare for it? We'll discuss as we get there. Let's go down a bit more. Valkyrie saying, my ex-partner said I would never amount to anything right before I spaced him, which was quite rude, <laughs> since I have thought some pretty good comeback since I was like, I'll never forget the first time, but we'll keep on trying, yeah. Uh, it's too long. Let's find a shorter one. Here we go. At CisonCon, after Jared showcased Test Squadron, I stopped by your booth to learn more and became interested in joining up. Hey, it's good to know our efforts at CisonCon got us one member, which is awesome. Uh, I'm looking for an org where friendship and having fun with friends take priority of a serious internet business. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Does someone want to tell him? Also, I love that you guys have a sense of humor like your manifesto page. Yeah, let, let's not talk about the manifesto page because Athy uh, keeps on bugging me to fix it and I keep on saying I will and I just haven't. We'll make her do some squats in a bit. Uh, Stig, oh, here's Stig. Stig, is this you? Stig, is this you? No ways. Stig, is this your application? I don't know why I thought that you've been in this org for a long time. Really? Do you mind me showing it? Because I, I never asked you if you mind that or not. <laughs> I'll, I'll decide for you. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I thought I knew you from before. Huh, weird. Huh, maybe it was just the connection we have. We just, you know, when you go on a date and you go, wow, like, I feel like we've known each other for years. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Stig, who is actually in chat right now? And here's his application. I have more ships than friends. It's as if he's me. So I decided to join the biggest dog, hoping to find someone to play with. Uh, what more do you want? Self-deprecating humor and... Uh, yes! Yes! P.S. I'll be buried in my USB-shaped starship in the game. <laughs> Where is our USB-shaped star? You're right. We, we will never get that. You know that, right? I highly doubt I'm going to get a USB-shaped 600i, or is it the constellation it's supposed to be? Um, I'm not holding my breath for it. I mean, they did promise it. How much will it cost them to make... Actually, only the people who backed early are getting that. Yeah, you know what? They will. They, they have to. They have to do it, right? It's the rear admiral pack. Exactly. Um, mm. Yeah, they, they have to do it. I mean, it was promised to us. So can we expect a constellation-shaped USB drive that holds 400 gigs of Star Citizen? They're going to have to do it. They will. Suplex says, I can cook pierogi and shaboy. Sh 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 Any uh, polls in chat? How do I pronounce that? I want to say, is it a, a h sound or ch? Shaboy? Shaboy? I don't speak much Polish, but I understand pierogi. And so forth. You guys want to do more of these? Uh, let's do it. Let's go back one more page. Let's go back. We should appreciate these. Uh, uh, Ducky, I'd love to read yours. It's just long. And I don't have enough coffee. P 
Parkerbot99 says, I was invited by Rocha on my broken account. Short of it is CIG broke my old account, essentially turning me into a panhandler for ships. Uh, it got old, so I made this new tune. I will admit, enable the cool game. I don't know, okay. Rocha, I don't know who you invited there. But b Cube's got a good one. I can eat onions like an apple and eat minced garlic straight out of a jar. This, ladies and gentlemen, is essentially the type of person we're looking for when we want to add people to our org. We're saying, what skills can you bring to the table? Uh, we have people that do PvP, PvE. We have people that are good at empathy and managing people. The thing we're lacking is an onion eater. And the fact that this guy showed up right when he did is great. So I'm happy to see that. Welcome, B-Cubed, if you're watching. Uh, while I'm on my forums, let's jump over to the uh, donation section and give a big shout out to everyone who's donated recently over the past month. Guys, I appreciate your financial support and uh, as we get closer to a game and as I'm putting more of my own time into running this motley crew of trying to say nice things. <laughs> Uh, this actually does help a big difference. It helps a lot. So thank you very much to Doc Flanagan for 25. Doc, listen, you are a moderator in here. You don't have to give me money, man. I should be paying you. So I'm going to take the 25 bucks and give it back to you. But then you just give it back to me so it becomes a cycle. But thank you very much, Doc. I appreciate your generosity and your time and the uh, all the stuff you made for us. Uh, I eat one who gave $10 and she thank you very much. Blevin Space, uh, F you, Susan Dad. <laughs> And Susan Dad says, you can see, oh, you guys don't see what I'm looking at. Oh, God, okay, let me start that again. Okay, I'm looking at this, by the way. Thank you, Doc Flanagan. I appreciate that. Ayiton for 10, thank you very much. Um, Blevin Space, Susan Dad, thank you very much for the kind words. I appreciate it. You can tell the relationship I have here with my uh, org members, right? Because, yeah, it's not like this always. Seems more than common now. Fly Casual for 10. Thank you very much. Vavrik for 25. Thank you very much. Vavrik holding... Vavrik, are you in here? Is Vavrik in here? If he isn't it, tell him I'm talking about him. Uh, Vavrik has been one of the very quiet but um, dedicated supporters of this entire venture for many, many years. In fact, I, I think he's the top donor and uh, I want to give Vavrik a very big thank you for everything over the years. It's appreciated. Uh, Athi, what do you mean? With, didn't you get paid? The check's in the mail. Vavrik's working? What do you mean? He has a job? Well, no wonder he gives me so much money. <laughs> so if you see Vavrik, uh, tell him, Montoya said, thank you very much for his generosity over the years. Anonymous gave me $5 for five years. Thank you, Anon. Uh, guest, I uh, guess I don't know what you gave. Um, Dwega. Thank you, I guess. Mudhawk, Bamboozer, Garrick Duval for 10, August for 10. August, thank you very much. I, he's probably in bed right now. He's in Australia. And uh, I think we'll stop over there. So thank you, everyone who donated over the years. Much appreciated. Uh, I also need to probably mention my Patreon, which I don't... I keep on being told I have to talk more about it. I just don't do it enough. But thank you for reminding me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to support financially, obviously the forums or by getting a sub like Captain Thorne did, or otherwise Patreon is the preferred method because that shows me exactly what's coming in at any point in time. And I know what it is. It's helped in that sense too. So this is our Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash test squadron. Thank you very much for your consideration. And no, you do not get feed picks. Although maybe we'll get Seth to give you some feet pics, I guess. <laughs> so coming back around to what was the topic I was going to hit on. Uh, so I want to talk about this very quickly, which is the affiliates versus the main members. Now, when we started TEST, um, one of the decisions we made very, very early on and something which was important to me was the ease of entry. That's what she said. Into the org. Um, I had a, a stupid experience when I first went to EVE, all right? Oh, well, I think I was like 25 or something. And okay, let me try this game EVE and I'm gonna join some corp. And uh, I went to a, a rather large corp. And uh, they said that I have to sit and wait in their waiting room in uh, what was used for comms, TeamSpeak or Ventrilo? I don't know what the comms were. Was, this was before Discord, right? And 
I sat in this waiting room and was designated the waiting room. They said, you have to wait in the waiting room and we'll conduct an entry interview with you. So I'm like, oh, that sounds pretty hardcore, right? So I'll do that. And uh, I sat in this waiting room for an hour, all right? It was me and like three other candidates, which they were considering. And once it was my turn, first of all, I'm like, dude, I got things to do. Like, I don't want to sit here. But if they called you and you weren't there, then you weren't getting in. And I wanted to play this game. And to play this game, they told me I needed to be in this corp. So I'm applying to join this corp, all right? So here I am sitting in this room. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting and waiting. An hour goes by. Finally, they call me up. And like, if you aren't in there in 30 seconds, you lose your spot. So I had to be there. And I get called in the room. I sit down. And sort, uh, I enter the room. And the guy goes, oh, hello. Uh, I, it's like the, the teenager voice from uh, Simpson. Hi. <laughs> oh, welcome to uh, our, our corporation. Uh, and he starts asking me questions. And he's interviewing me. All right. I'm... 25 here, and this motherfucker who's like 16, 17 years old, he's asking me interview questions so I can come play a game with him. He's like, oh, so what kind of music do you like? I'm like, I, yeah, I don't know, club music, I guess. Oh, oh what? Well, it's, uh, what kind of shows do you like watching on TV? I'm like, oh my God. I was ready just to get up and leave, but I stuck with it because I'd waited that long already. So the entry interview was this whole bunch of bullshit about getting to know me. Uh, as if, you know, they'll make a decision based upon my personality. And yeah, I, we finished the interview and I was like, yeah, I'm out of here. Like, I, I don't want to be in the corporation with that guy who, you know, was just, and I understand why they did it. Um, now that I have my own group, I understand. All right. But I felt that it was a massive barrier to entry. I just wanted to get in and play with people. Toss me into your chat. Let me play. Uh, so when Tess started off, essentially we said, all right, so I mean, what are the limitations? How do people get in? And it was basically just uh, just join. Come in. Main member, affiliate, we don't care. Come in and play. And the idea has always been that once we get to a point in this game where we do need to clamp down on who has access to what, we will do so then. But right now, it's basically come in, hang out, play with us. It's fine. At the point in time where we get things like org hangers, right? And I've parked my javelin in the org hanger and people who are main members have access to certain things. We will then at that point start filtering down and seeing like who was active. Who have we known for the past four or five years personally that we've played with at the list, right? And so we'll go from there. Agree zero squared. Big shout out to, uh, oh, actually, that's part of the State of the Squadron, which I forgot to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess we're going to wrap up the State of the Squadron here. This has been a, a lovely live stream. State of the Squadron. I like this. Um, I'm actually going to then take what I did here and put it on YouTube for those who missed it. But uh, just to close off, a big thank you to our event coordinators, our staff, and our mods who have worked perilously over the years to getting us to where we are. Uh, I appreciate it immensely, and everyone in chat here appreciates it too. Uh, know that you are all loved, except that one guy, which no one loves. But the rest of you are loved and appreciated uh, for your tireless work and your dedication to Test Squadron and your patience with Star Citizen. Thank you, guys, and uh, this is the end of State of the Squadron. And now we open up to the politics side of the show. Ha, ha, ha.